of your music? The grease monkey, Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. And yeah, the biggest, the only reason I know it's something to do with my PC, like for sure, is because on Sunday I was playing WoW Classic and my whole PC started freaking out. All my internet pages were flickering, but the stream was completely perfect and no one could see anything, but I physically couldn't play the game because I couldn't, it was so bad. So that's how I know it's something to do with my, um, my, maybe my graphics or something. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it tonight. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll wait until you're finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I wouldn't really call this a row, but okay. I was told to talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I must say, wearing a Marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. It has bare stats. Get your stick out your ass. Uniform, what are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the uh honorable oh, apparel fuck of a off. worker. <laughs> exactly says this guy needs to fuck off. Hey, I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. <gasps> that is such a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Giving the drugs to Abernathy, then stealing them for the woman? Of course. I'm need a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. Guy's and creepy. I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Uh, frying? Let me guess, you want me to do something for you before you help me? My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. That sounds dodgy. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. What a surprise, I would never have guessed. You mean marauders? The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I oh. need them to come home. Exactly. Right, okay. I mean, a charge by the head if you want me to solve your problem. Good law, no. I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. What? My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Oh. I will recognize her. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Undead Gamer, thank you so much for the host. I hope you're having a good night. RPG lately took this kind of choices out. Yeah, this is the, probably the issue. I'm not thinking like I should be. I'll get in. I'll get in. I'll get... I'll, I'll, I'll come around. <sighs> what if she doesn't want to come back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. 
Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. So I can kill her. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Okay. Can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. You do ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. Oh, I damn! Mean, it's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Yes! Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me. I want her. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators. You could just kill him. This is true also. Tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You've gained a companion. There are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. You can provide combat support, enhance your skills, increase carry capacity. Oh, yeah. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companion ledger. Okay. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay, yeah, good, good thinking. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, ma'am, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job... I'm not sure it was being so. <laughs> but that's not the only side of the tale. Uh, what's the other side of it? If I wanted to deal with nuisance, I wouldn't be this heavily armed. Let's move. <laughs> Fuck. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job. How do I host it? If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. This town's got issues. I don't blame them. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, oh, but Wait, thank you. every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or thank worse. You. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay, we could speak to the vicar. We'll stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think don't call me ma'am. Decision that'll hurt somebody. It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. Ah, oh, awesome. I was trying to do that earlier. Uh, botanical lab, vicar. Let's go. We're off to see the vicar. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. Oh wait, this is this is not the way in. <laughs> Don't follow me. Sorry. I've always thought we were in here. It's too. Cool. Hey, dude. Yes. What is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian De Soto at your service, or Vicar Max if you're the sort who prefers brevity. Brevity. And Miss Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Curious, sir, and curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Ma'am, I know. Can you romance your companions? I think you can. Or can you not? I'm sure I saw someone taking one of them on a date. Can you just get friendly? Remember in Fallout you used to get the sleeping bonus if you slept with a companion that you had maxed out? That was great. Uh, 
Okay, she said to talk to you. But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I know, right, Zoe? I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Cut off power. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has. If Damn you it! Talk. Orca burst in the fucking bubble, man. Honestly. Hmm. What do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters <laughs> to return to the fold. No debauchery. I'm a sad troll. Dragon Age 4 news for all your romancing needs. <laughs> right, just talk. Everybody into coming together. I'll keep that in mind. Is it even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Romance is dead anyway. It was just a lie. I've been outside, I'm not impressed, and I can handle myself better than a vicar. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastard snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. Oh, nice. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal. A faded How blue cover say? with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? My chemical romance and Rage Against the Machine are getting back together? What the hell? Hold on, wait. Shit, man, I thought I saw a pig flying by out there. I'll look for it. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay, cool. Right, let's see. The lover reads message to Adelaide. Okay, we'll try and do that just now. Companions. Yeah, that's fine. That's all just normal stuff. Right, where are we going? This way. Nah, it was a cow. I wonder if Zach de is still angry at everything. <laughs> Oh, right, it's out the other fucking side. Jesus. There must be a door out this way. It lives in the US, there's plenty to be angry about. <laughs> so true. There's a door this way. Yes, there is. So wait. The transitions between areas are just like, um, borderlands a Orca. Right, let's get moving. Come on. Here, your stamina's pretty, like, you can run. Pretty much constant. Right, we've came through here before, so this is already cleared out, which is good. Yeah, the way it's like open world. Come out, here they come. 
Oh shit! I'm too far away for that. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, I'm dead. She's the worst companion for fights. Yeah, I think she's. I don't think fighting's her forty. So your stats should be lower. This is also true. Oh. Let's try that again. I can give her a melee weapon. Or she doesn't have a weapon. Shit, right, okay. Where are we headed? Can I give her some how'd I do it? You mentioned something earlier. You mean about the mission being too clean? It isn't it supposed to be clean, it's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. And uh, uh, why do you want to talk to him? The Vicar's about the only soul in the veil who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Oh, look! A hunting rifle? I don't, I've not even looked at my fucking guns in ages. Look at this. Hmm. A two-handed melee blade. What's the blue DPS? Why is that blue? Because it's more? What's this? An assault rifle? <gasps> Why am I still running about with a shitty handgun? How do I give her? Stuff. Oh, here she's. Oh, she's got stuff. Oh, she's got a fucking impact hammer and a pistol. She has got weapons. Oh, I can give her stuff as well. Oh, her armor's actually not bad. Wait. Is this better than what I've got? Four. Five, yeah. That was Veronica in New Vegas. I still need to play New Vegas. Maybe I will next year. She gets perk points. Oh wait, you can set her to be what? Controls the distance for this companion. Stay close to the player. Fall at moderate distance. Fall from a distance. We'll make her melee. Defensive's probably good, right? Wow, they're like that's that's insanely detailed for a companion. <laughs> so can I just give her two? No. Oh ranged in melee. Well her thing's way better than anything I've got. Okay. 
Well, we can we ran into these guys as well, which wasn't the best idea. So now we can at least try and sneak a little bit. Yeah, but it's way more than you could ever do for anything else. You know. <gasps> oh my god. Awesome. Okay, gone quiet. Big bus, <gasps> oh big bus, shit. Brown butts and flat butts, buns of steel and squishy tushies, <laughs> old buns and flavor boot ass. Some butts are existential, some <laughs> butts are shit myself. <laughs> Cheeks and cheeks and sassy sour free rich. I was in pure stealth mode there, I was not Yay! prepared. <laughs> I was not prepared. <laughs> Captain Squirrel, thank you so much for the follow. Ah, oh, Porcelain Rat, thank you so much for that raid. That's incredible. <laughs> I hope you had a great stream. How's everyone doing? Welcome in. Sit down, relax. We're playing some Outer Worlds, it's exciting. This is our first night. We are only two and a half hours into the game. So yeah, super early. We are loving it so far. Really like it. I love the dialogue in it. Dialogue's just like top notch. You're playing this too? Nice, nice. Bufu, welcome. Anyone else that came in, welcome. G Scott. <sighs> My name is Dauntless GG. I'm a variety streamer. We just finished up the Witcher 3 main story. Let me pause just in case. We've currently just finished up the Witcher 3 main story. We are now playing Outer Worlds and then we are going to be doing the Witcher 3 DLC, which will be my first time playing the DLC. And then our plan is to go on to Greedfall. So if that sounds like your jam, your cup of tea, then give us a follow. And thank you for the shout out, Kimo. But yeah, uh, so yeah, we're doing that. The Witcher 3 main story was our second playthrough, but I wanted to do the DLC and I haven't played it in a couple of years, so we just redid the whole thing again. Um, but I was going to do the DLC straight away and then Outer Worlds was like out already and I was just like, oh, we'll take a break because I think going into like 100 hours of The Witcher in one straight shot is a lot. So probably taking a break for this and going back to the DLC will be refreshing for me, especially because the DLC is completely new. Um, we also do not, we do not, I'm reading your fucking comment Asna, do not drink tea. I actually do drink tea, just prefer coffee. We're running a giveaway to tell you as well guys, if anyone wants to enter. It's running the whole stream, if you're not here at the end of the stream and your name is picked, then you must be in my discord to get the code, otherwise I will pick someone else. So if you're not here, I'll check the discord, if you're not in discord, I'll reroll. Um, so if you don't want to stick around but you want to enter, I think you need to follow to enter. You need um, points. You can check those by using the butts command. B-U-T-T-S. It'll tell you how many you've got. You need 50, which you get for following the channel anyway. And it's a game called A Hat in Time. Um, was donated by one of our subs. It was awesome to do that. Thank you, Asna. Who's not even a mod doing all the commands for me. Uh, so yeah, we're basically on this main mission trying to do the power thing. So I just realised I was I had these ranged weapons that I've not even used yet, so... I wonder if I can just take this guy out with a headshot. I don't know how much damage this thing does. Oh my god, can I steady this? Oh wait, what do these do? Z, X and C? Heading back. Oh no! Oh, it gives her commands? What? Oh, interesting. <gasps> it didn't kill him. Q! Are you going to do something? Oh my god, what did I do? Yeah, 
No, I accidentally made her stand there like an absolute potato in the middle of the fight. Slow time! I know. I'm still getting used to the buttons. It's fine. No problem. Enjoy your dinner and thank you so much for that raid. Really do appreciate it. Anyone in here that has not checked out Porcelain Rat's channel, make sure you do so. She's an awesome streamer. Super chilled. Nice and relaxing. Plays like a whole bunch of games. It's great. There is something for everyone in there. Did I change my guns out? I did. I actually did better that time, but I accidentally made her stand still, which was stupid. Well, it's going this long grass across from it. Death count now five. Should I just add a death count? There's one built into the bot I could probably just use. I'm dead again. Shit. Hard's hard. <laughs> hard's hard. I need to stop Looks just sitting. Like you died. Thanks. I need to stop just sitting in the middle of the fucking grass. Like, I need to take some sort of cover. I don't know why I'm not moving. Why am I just sitting here? I don't know. Let me just run around. Shit. Nice. Head Oh, is it maybe because I changed her to defensive? Here we go. Oh, hi. I did not see you there. Oh, that's her. Sorry, alas. Oh my god, I keep trying to run and slide. What the fuck? The controls are screwing with me. <laughs> Not a peep for me. Right, we're fine. This is not Apex, I know. I'm ready for oh, hi. I thought a uh, space bar or oh, is a do dodge. Oh fucking hell, lady! Take cover. I forget I can pause and just eat stuff. What does this do? Minus plus two hundred. Last two. That seems good. Can you like? Hit someone. You're still on defensive. You're hurt. You're hurt. Ding, ding. Some sort of bracelet.
I wonder if there's something in there. Why were they just standing around here? There's the loot. Armor parts. Hmm. I dislike no slide button. It's the fact I don't even care that it's not there. I just keep trying to use this stupid thing. What is this? What is this? What's that? Oh, there's bad guys here. Uh, let's do our stuff. Um, I think we should start probably. We get a perk as well. Oh, back. I keep forgetting to apply stuff. You have unlocked location hit effects for tactical time. Hitting enemies in different locations maims or cripples them. Ow! I like that. I like that. Um, right, so we've got the carry capacity. Maybe I'll take the health, actually. I really need to dive more into the weapon mods and armor. I just don't do it nearly enough. What is this? <gasps> it's a landmine, guys. It's a landmine. <gasps> what? Nice. Oh, that gives us the book. Oh, we didn't even know that. That we got that quest without even tr without even meaning to. Sweet. Is there anything else along here? Oh fuck. I'm so sorry. Or was that you? Did you set that off? Shoot, bitch. Mm, it just goes back this way. Okay. Let's head. Keep going. Imagine just setting off a landmine. Ah. I feel like I'm getting sound bugs. Like, see when I was shooting those guys? What's that? Looks like death. Oh, is that guy just sitting there? He is. I'm not sure I like this sneak thing through the grass. I don't know. Maybe I'll get used to it. Like, see there when I took that thing out, that bat on it didn't initially make a noise. Oh. What? Oh, hi! Oh, oh fuck! Oh god damn it! Motherfucker! And see my sound's glitching again? And I'm trying to slide again. Why have I got no sound? What's going on? Ow! Oh, why when I'm doing the reload? Wow, 
Why is my sound coming in and out? That's so annoying. This game is definitely glitching on me. You okay? That was a freaking trap, that. Isn't it? Like, I'm getting no effects. Hear this? Oh, they're back. My, my sound effects are going in and out. What the fuck is this thing? Nothing, look. What is happening? Game, please. That snake was thick. Oh, fuck off. Now that I can hear. Well, okay. You guys might want to time your sound clips better. Jeez. Boys night. Boys night. Boys night. That was super loud. All right, this isn't dangerous. This place. Stranger, we don't want any trouble. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Move along. Looking for Adelaide. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. <sighs> Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Sure. You and me both, I'm trying to figure out how to repair my ship. Well, look at you, buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. Wow, jealous much? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe <laughs> went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. It's funny, Zerker said the same thing, Asna. That my bottle looks huge. Maybe it's just perspective of the camera. It's just a 1.5 liter. It's not, like, abnormally large. Hmm, don't tell me you're scared of marauders. I've crossed off my share of marauders. This ain't about them. I go looking for Zoe, I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around a gun. Hence my dilemma. Hence, forthwith, what is with the language in this? I'll keep an eye out. 
It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Unless Marauder's got her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. <sighs> Excellent. Hey, right, let's go see Adelaide. Place is cool. Hey, lady. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. A poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I'll get you a maze poultice. Maze. Maze. <laughs> uh. Okay, you must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green thumb. Grandmother. The strange old lady who keeps flowers. But Adelaide but is yes, your name, right? Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. That's so pretty. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. <laughs> Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Ew. Not a mace, Potus. Maze. <laughs> M-A-I-Z-E. Okay. <sighs> Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Maybe. Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? <laughs> nice. Good pun. You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery, that's about it. We'd ask you to consider coming back. He's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. I can't say I blame you. Reed is positively soporific. Soporific? Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He mentioned a geothermal plant to divert your power. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? My ship, man. I need it. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Hmm. A hero to you, maybe? A hero to the people who matter. All these moral to choices. To the ones who come around. To the ones you save. Reed will never understand. He has been too long inebriated on the wine of corporate culture. All he sees is productivity, output, profits. Their chattiness is just sublime. I love it. Let's just say I help. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Sure, whatever. Whatever. Right, okay. Can we take this stuff? Steal. No. What if I speak to my companion? Will she have thoughts on this? Where are we headed? Oh, she has no thoughts. Her brain is empty. Her brain is empty. Right, let's check for clues to that um 
Missing person. Let's search the home while we're here. Where is it? So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams. And would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for posterity's sake. Because I've always hated the cannery and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this journal many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the Veil ones, didn't I? Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick and I grabbed a little too much Adrena time. Is that really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happened to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? Oh, but you misappropriated one box of Adrena time and suddenly you're committing larceny. Hmm. Not much to search, is there? You in the can? Oh, over here. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they would take the whole region if they were organised. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food and I've got some spare cans of Saltuna. Saltuna? Saltuna? Should last me a couple of weeks of a ration. Got some Adrena time too. Everybody loves Adrena time, even Marauders, right? I got odds those Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of sunjis before their eyes. This is going to be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of marauders at my back and call. My beck and call, sorry. Maybe I can even score some rizzos. Really, has no one walked in here and read this fucking note sitting by the door? Give me a break. <sighs> God damn it, Zoe. Where you at? Over there. Right, let's make our way to her. I don't know if this might be too high level for us. I'm finding it hard to work out what is too high level. Because there's no way of knowing what level anything is, by the looks of it. Oh, hi. Nice. Loot, loot, more loot. Oh, there's some dudes down here. Some hooligans. Looks like there's only two. Oh, there's one right there. smashed him. Yeah. 
That was a good slow mo. <laughs> it's a marauder's life for me. Ooh, is that a new helmet? Let's see. Ooh, a nine armor? Nice. What the hell is this? A plasma cutter? Why is that red? Can I not use that yet? Can you only use guns up to your level? It's the same as the one I've got. Red is just fire damage. Looks like Courage JD signed a multi-year exclusive deal with YouTube. Seriously? I knew YouTube was going to be coming in on this. They've been far too quiet lately. Oh, it's a special effect. Thanks, Reigns. I do feel like you're really not short of stuff in this game. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh, mods. Oh, do I need a whip? I need a table though, right? Can I... Hmm. I wonder if I get here. If I could fast travel to my ship and then fast travel back to do the mods on my guns. I really need to pee. In fact, what time is it? I doubt you'd be getting any of that on YouTube. Hmm. No problem, Orca. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Right guys, I'm going to save and finish for the night.